Hello everyone. So this is a little bit of a different perspective today. I hope I don't look kind of weird. Um, today I will clear out my closet with you. This is the only video that I made about eight fashion items that I only own once, which was my most successful video by now. I figured that this whole like less is more philosophy topic and this whole like minimalism approach to things and to fashion and to consumerism might be of interest for you. So, so I thought, why not share this with you? So I clear out my closet fairly frequently. I do this at least two, three, sometimes even four times a year, I think. At least every season change because I always sort out my summer or winter items in like one backup department of my closet because I just don't have that much space. So I have to touch all my stuff anyway at least twice a year which is already a good base but I actually really enjoy just like clearing out stuff, getting rid of stuff that I don't use and that I don't wear quite frequently. It just helps you with you know anxiety and with just feeling a little lighter at heart if that makes any sense. So yeah I really enjoy doing this quite often. As we are in this whole like the year is ending or the year is about to end mood anyway. I think it's always a great opportunity to just take a look at what you have and sort out the things that you don't love. So let's go ahead. So let's start with this little buddy here. This is my main closet. And here you will see a lot of items that I tend to, you know, put on my hangers. And down there I have some jewelry, underwear, socks and stuff like that. So today we will sort out all of this and all of this down there. Um, I have another department up here, but this is where all my summer clothes are at the moment. And these I will not touch today as I will clear those out when the new season starts. I will have to drag them all out there anyway and then I will kind of get into a clear out automatically and naturally. And it's actually quite good if you don't see these items for like half a year, you see them again. Then I feel I am able to actually, you know, sort them out quite pragmatically and rationally. Anyway, today we are about to sort all of this out. So let's start. Oh my god, okay, did I ever mention I don't own a lot of clothing? So here we only have a, lot, a couple of like shopping bags that I like to collect. This is all empty, that is fine. This is something that I will for sure keep. It's my current teddy coat. And yeah, so now I will take every piece that I just dragged out. I will put it up. I will take a close look at it and see if I really wanna keep this. This piece is actually something that I absolutely love. It's from Theory and it is this like kind of off the shoulder falling shirt. I absolutely love it. Um, I love Theory in general, it's one of my favorite brands. I think that it's a very elegant piece and it's very chic and grown up but still it has this little special edginess to it and modernness to it which is just like right up my alley. So this is a keeper for sure. This is a piece that I bought in the sale um, one year ago. It's from a brand that's called Entropia. I never bought anything else by them. I loved about it that it looks a little bit like Isabelle Maron, but it's far more affordable and I don't wear it as often as I could because it is a little playful and I'm just not often in the mood of being of wearing something super playful as I used to be, but I still very, very enjoy this item. It's great quality and um, I think I will give it another chance for the upcoming season. This is again something that I absolutely love. It's a white soft top by Iro Paris. I absolutely love this one. Again, I bought this in a sale and I wear it constantly uh, during the warmer months and that's why I will definitely keep this for sure. Okay, here we have our first problem piece. This is a white linen blazer that I got by Max & Co. It's like one of the lines from Max Mara. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with this blazer. It's absolutely beautiful, but 
I just don't really wear it. I think because of the plain white, I sometimes feel like a doctor and the cut is also like very straight. It just like falls down. There's no structure to it. It's just almost a little bit too linen and white for me. The combination just doesn't really work that well. So I think for now, I will put it on a different pile so that I will figure out what I want to do with it later. Um, this is one of my coats. I wear this more in the transitional time or when I want to, you know, look a little bit smart and posh. I really like this one. This is actually from Zara. I bought this for 60 euro and as you know, I actually try to minimize and avoid buying anything fast fashion. However, I absolutely enjoy wearing this. This is nothing that I will, you know, throw out easily and um, therefore it was still a good buy for me. And this is, I think, one of three items that I bought at Zara for the whole year. So I think it's okay. So here we have two pairs of trousers. This is a white, like Marlene trousers and these are black velvet culottes. So these white trousers, I absolutely love. I lived in them through the whole summer, the spring and also autumn. So these are definitely keepers, even though I will not wear them now for winter time. I don't really know what to do with this one though. I absolutely love the cut and everything about it, but I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't have the chance to wear it. But when I will sort out my closet the next time, I have this marked as a risky piece. This is one of the pieces that is absolutely amazing. The quality, the material, the color, it's absolutely stunning, but it just doesn't work for me. I never wear this. I think I've worn this maybe two times and I bought this three years ago. So it really hurts my heart to, you know, see that pieces that even though they are amazing quality and they have an amazing design, they still sometimes just don't work out for me. Every time I wear this, it just doesn't add anything. It's not particular, particularly flattering either, so I just never wear it. So I think I have to let it go. but a goodie. This piece, I think it's around 15 years old. It's a typical early 2000 top, if you ask me. <laughs> it's very like Britney j -Lo -ish. Um, It's from Kokai. And back in the early 2000s or like late 90s, Kokai used to be a actual hot brand. This is, I think, even real silk and it has beautiful silk embellishments it's not printed it's i think actually embellished with like floral designs and butterflies so the actual product like the piece itself i think the way it's made the quality it's just absolutely amazing i would never wear this again obviously because i'm not britney spears i don't know why i haven't worn this in ages but i just can't let this go because i totally still can remember how you know when i was 18 this was one of my best pieces and i absolutely loved it and when i wanted to feel special or when i went to a party or something i would wear this because this was like one of my special items that i had and i just can't let it go i just can't and i'm so pragmatic i really would describe myself as someone who's pretty good with sorting things out and letting things go but this is just something i can't i really can't on the other hand we have a um, Victor and Rolf for H&M and a Kalagafeld for H&M top. These are also two like camisole tops and they are both absolutely stunning. They are also real silk. I haven't worn these in ages but because they are great quality pieces I again just struggle with letting these go. Um, I think this is even something that you know you could totally wear again. I think these pieces are quite timeless to be honest so I don't know what to do with them. Now we have gotten to the crazy stuff. 
stuff. So I used to have a serious phase of being a rockabilly and a little bit of a goth and this is definitely from this time. So this is the black petticoat and a bolero jacket and I only keep, oh and it's also like a crazy like dress. I obviously don't wear these anymore but I keep them for like costume parties, Halloween parties and stuff like that. So most of the stuff that was very like scenish. Um, I don't have anymore or it's down in the basement. This one I like to keep around because sometimes it comes in handy but I think since I only wear this like once a year max to some kind of like motto party I will totally keep it in the basement for now because it just takes up a lot of space that um, it's just unnecessary most of the year. I have sorted out this part of my closet. I think I will get rid of at least one, two, three, around 10 pieces or 12 pieces, which I think is a good number. But now let's get down to the other apartment. Since this is underwear, I will not share this one with you. But um, yeah, I will catch you in a minute. Hello again. So this is my second element of my wardrobe and this is where I have all my sportswear, my cozy wear but also my jumpers like all the knitwear stuff as well as my t-shirts oh and also all of my denim and stuff like that so now the next step is to go through this one I think usually this one tends to get a little bit more chaotic and stuffed up and piled up easier. I'm also thinking of like reorganizing this whole section with my underwear section and like exchanging it, whatever. Yeah, let's go through this bad boy here. So yeah, that was my closet clear out for today. If you ask yourself what I will do with this, these are the items that I will take and um, give out for charity. And there are just a couple of other items that are more on the designer or like higher end spectrum that I will try to sell on Vestia Collective or on eBay, let's see, somewhere on the pre-loved market. And this way I feel like I get a little bit back of my money and I still also get to do something charity-wise. So that's it for today's video. Now I will still have to clear out like the whole like sock and underwear department as well as my homeware and my sportswear stuff. But I think that's just like not that interesting for you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me feedback in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this crazy person here. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.